Namaste yoga friends, my name is Doreen Foxwell. Welcome to today's Kids Yoga Meets Astrology. Today we're going to talk a day late, or a dollar short as they say, about the new moon that happened yesterday. And the new moon energy can still be felt, and so that's why I'm coming in today uh, with you to post this video now. This new moon, we're going to look at two different ways. You see, there is a lot of astrologers and psychics making predictions based on this new moon energy going into this week and what it's going to bring. And one of the things that happens is there's two different sciences going on right now. There's Western astrology, there's Vedic astrology. Vedic astrology is much older than Western astrology. Um, Western astrology is what you see a lot of in the states when you read your horoscope, when you see your birth date. Vedic astrology has a lot more traditional things that it goes back on. It's actually, in my opinion, a lot more complicated, but sometimes it's more accurate. So I'm going to let you decide. If you go by Vedic astrology, this new moon falls in the sign of Libra. Libra is all about balancing things, balancing your personal life, your business life, balancing things in your children's lives, like their schoolwork versus their activities this time of year. They're just starting to get into all of that, that balancing act of, of going out and seeing their friends and, and or you know doing their responsible chores. And then you have Western astrology, now, Western astrology is saying that this new moon falls in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is a lot different energy. Scorpio is, goes really deep, and you want to say almost dark, but Scorpio is all about really getting to the root of things. So with your children, it'd be, uh, for instance, they might come home from school, you ask how their day is, they're like, oh fine, what happened? Nothing happened. Scorpio energy is when they will start to really be like, this happened with this person, this person hurt my feelings, this person's not my friend anymore, this person doesn't like me. Okay, for a child, that might be Scorpio energy. For an adult, Scorpio energy is going to really make you look in at yourself, at your behaviors, at your actions, if you want your life to continue on this path or not, if you're going, meant to go a different direction. So those are kind of the two different energies at play. And that's why I say, you know, sometimes they're so different, the two different astrologies, that I personally kind of look at what feels like it is a affecting me more, the Western astrology bit or the Vedic astrology. I'm going to save that this month and not share that because I have had some very big things that have happened uh, this past month already. And we're just starting November or this past week. Um, I'm going to save them for another time. But these are the things you need to know about this new moon. So what do you do on a new moon? Well, these things shall pass, is how you look at it. And so you can help bring that along by learning whatever lesson, or your child, whatever lesson it is you're supposed to learn, so that you don't have to repeat it again and again and again, because that's the way life works. If you don't learn the lesson the first time, it comes back again, maybe next year at this time. And it's going to repeat with the same energies that are happening in astrology. And they repeat bigger and harder. And so better to learn the lessons now so you don't have to keep repeating them. Sometimes for children, they've got to learn the lessons over and over and over again, and, and that's okay. That's what kids do. They, they are open to learning, and they usually are okay with it. They're 
very resilient. It's much harder for us as adults to learn those lessons. It's much harder to be teachable. It's much harder to take accountability for your part in something and your actions and to even change a habit because when you do things a certain way for so long, it does become a habit. And so be open to the change. Now I have some uh, Halloween deco that's still out because it was not just a new moon. We had Halloween, we had Samhain, um, a very traditional part of uh, when the darkness and the light and we start a new year, Samhain. We also had the Day of the Dead yesterday. So there were all kinds of energy converging on the same exact day. Another reason I couldn't come to you yesterday, it was just way too intense. And so my advice for the grown-ups watching this, take a salt bath, okay? Relax, get extra rest, drink lots of water. It will help get you through these trying times. And you might not have any effect of this new moon. And in that case, I salute you, as they say. I salute you not being affected by this full moon. And your children, just watch for emotions. The moon is known for the emotions that it brings out, full and new. Sometimes new moons can be just as powerful, if not more, than full moons. And new moons are when it's completely dark. It gets no light from the sun. There's no reflection on the sun. And that is also why when you look out at night, you can see the stars much better. There's no moonlight. It's beautiful in some ways if it's a clear night for you. So that's everything that I wanted to share today. I will share one pose for you for the new moon. It is one of the best relaxation poses for adults and children. Children can do it a lot more naturally. Adults, it's a little bit harder. And it's what we call the new moon pose in our yoga classes. And it's known as child's pose. And we just get down and go dark and deep. We close our eyes. Now, for the adults that might not be able to do this, I always recommend opening up your knees so your body can fall through. And you might have adults that can't even reach the floor. So, out of view for a moment, sorry. Could use a yoga block or a pillow to put your head on. And so, to all of my yoga friends and families, I wish you a beautiful new moon, whether it's in the sign of Scorpio or the sign of Libra. There is a lot of other things going on in astrology, but I didn't want this to be a 10 minute video. I think I'm gonna come in next week and share with you a lot of the movements of the other planets that are causing a lot of tension in the world of astrology. And so I'll come in next week with that for you. Namaste. Have a beautiful yoga day.